No, oh, but bro. my story though, real talk, and you set this up, and I didn't even know you set this up. It was a guy you knew of that had a shop in Vegas. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I get an email from a dude who said he got a store in Vegas. At this time, I just got stuff popping in L.A. Mm. Like, I had just got, went to L.A., took a trip out there just to go get my clothes out in L.A., just trying to get it in storage. So, what was that, about 2015. Mm. About a month later, after doing that trip, making some noise out there in L.A., I get an email from a guy saying he got a store in Vegas, mm. and he tell me that you hit him up and told him about me. Absolutely. So I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's talk. Let's let's see what's going on. And I'm thinking he probably just talking or whatever. Nigga talking. Uh, yeah, yeah man, I'm gonna show so, my people. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, get it done. he hit me with a list of all the things he wanted. Mm -hmm. So I'm like. It's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a nice order. Is the, right. check, gonna, is the check gonna clear? Right, right. So I'm like, he he's doing a wholesale order. He did a nice, lengthy, big order, like huge order for a first time. And you don't get people ordering right. pieces. Hell like, no, yeah. He ordered over like like 600 pieces. Holy know? shit. Damn, but you know they say word of mouth is the best promotion, man. Yeah, like even coming out the gate, somebody trying to get their stuff in the store, they may do you like three dozen. They may, I can they see that. They you try. Yeah, you know I, I mean? can see that. <laughs> Yeah, six hundred. <laughs> like, Shit, all right. So about two weeks later, boom, he hit me. Hey, I need the invoice, for PayPal, and all right, cool. How well did y'all know each other back then? We, I, didn't, we didn't even exactly. know each other like that. That's the crazy. crazy. Yeah, I had never. The last seen time him. I talked to him, he was calling me <laughs> Baby <laughs> Floor right <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> That's crazy. I had never seen him, bro. I sent him and his girl a video yesterday. Of me riding around listening to his music before I knew who he was. That's crazy. So it was man. similar to y'all shit. Like, I'm just showing love on some, yeah. I respect what you got going on type that's shit. Wild, and that's real shit. Big up my that. boy from SoulectionLV.com. Yeah, Soul, that's what it was called. Soulection, yeah, yeah. And it was a shoe Damn. store, but he mm -hmm. wanted clothes in the shoe store. Respect, man. So then I'm getting all these tags. This one, Instagram was like starting to really pop. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I'm getting tagged and stuff. And it's Vegas, Vegas, wow. Vegas. People wearing the stuff. That's me. He's sending me the pictures. That's and then big. it's selling out. Yeah, that's <laughs> What the fuck is going on? That's huge. Because I had never been that's to Vegas. Life changing. You feel me? Oh, for real? At that time, I had never yeah. been to Vegas <clears throat> for people to even know what I what's going, yeah. what I have to offer. Yes. You know what I mean? That's like... No, and I don't mean this in no disrespect. That's like the luckiest shit ever, though. For it real. is, though. For real. <laughs> like, to actually, shit. like, the, yeah. for him to, like, for the first interaction to be a wholesale order. Yeah. Yeah. And you ain't talking and dope. how he yeah. found out about it. That and, shit is lucky. The guy never saw me. Mm -hmm. We just talked on the, we talked, email, email, then we start calling each other. That's dope. For about two weeks. That's dope. Just back and forth, asking for this, asking, hey, so I got these Jordans come out. Can, can you do this? Can you do that? So I'm just talking. We just back and forth. And then, boom, I get the, hey, I need the uh, invoice sent. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, he dead serious. Let's mm -hmm. go. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a big deal, man. Yeah, yeah it was, it. man. And, and it still is. I too. had no reason at all to do it more so than, hey, he doing something and that I, I know. And I was like, why are you? <laughs> <laughs> and look. And I never ever like hit him up or anything about it. That was the crazy thing. It was just like, yo, I'm going to throw this out here, boom. Mm -hmm. And then I never heard it from him. I never See, heard him say that's, like. That's like some real shit. Bro. That's it the is, show bro. I didn't yeah. do it for any other yeah. reason than literally no just bullshit. to try to help and connect yeah. to people. And I together. went and thanked him too, but it was just mm -hmm. like, oh, cool. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, yo, what the who is this nigga? Right. Right. That's amazing. Because we had I'm never saw that, I never mm -hmm. saw him in person. We just interacted through social media. Right, man, right, man. right. You know what I mean? See, I think that's dope. That's what yeah, life man. is about to me, man. And this is like, why no let me toot my horn. Go this ahead. is why I don't accept I'm ever the problem. Because I, I I never have a reason to be the problem, man. I come with love right. and anything I can do to help. Of but course. I'm not willing to do anything I'm not willing to do. Of and course. that part is what makes people think that I'm I don't come how yes. I come. Yeah. I, you get mistaken for an asshole because yes. you, you you won't do something that you won't don't want to do. Right. But you do show love in ways that other people don't show love. And I know I'm the exact same. Hell, my William Boston story is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, nigga, love we doing some clothes, doing this. I met his homeboy. I'm about to show some love. I'm gonna mm -hmm. hit him up and say, hey, let's do this. That's how it's supposed but that's, to be. I was just about it. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes. You know what I mean?